In this video, I'm going to show you how to manipulate web components and HTML elements in Java from the server side. So I have already created a standard Vadim project here using Maven. And once you have got the, this initial project, you need to uh, add the elements add-on dependency. So just go ahead and copy this dependency over there. And also we will need some HTML element. So I thought it would be a good idea to show how to use actually a, a Vadin element. Uh, and in this uh, video, I'm going to use the combo box element, which is pretty simple to use. And it's very easy to install if you have a bower already in your operating system, which I have. If you didn't have it, you can just uh, go ahead and install it. It's pretty simple as well. Uh, just remember to move to the uh, source main web app that in directory and from here you can uh, run this command so this will download all the resources that con uh, conform or that define the, the uh, vadin combo box element now let's see how we can uh, use it from the vadin framework in plain java so the first step is creating a new interface with uh, a name like a combo box element it is an interface and you need to extend the element interface that's provided by the add-on the elements add-on um, now you need to connect this interface with the actual element so how do you do that well there is a import uh, annotation uh, that you can use to specify the element that you want to uh, use in this or do you want to define in this interface uh, in our case is this file here so I'm going to copy the path to this file but of course I need to remove uh, the absolute part of the URL or the path uh, and uh, just starting from Vadin because this is going to be served by the Vadin servlet, all right? Now, uh, we need to tell this interface which tag we are going to use here, and it's uh, this one here, Vadin combo box. So again, you can define that with the tag uh, annotation. And uh, another thing you uh, should do is to provide uh, method a static method here to uh, create a new combo box element uh, why because uh, you have to let the kind of the uh, add-on know that this is an element that you can use you have to register it somehow and uh, the way you do this is by using the elements Dot create uh, method and here you can specify either the tag or or the or the class I prefer specifying the class which is more type safe of course you need to return this now uh, the cool thing about this is that you didn't have to implement this interface at all the add-on will take care of the implementation uh, but you need to define uh, methods getters and setters for the properties that are available for these uh, web components so if i go to the documentation uh, i can find that there are uh, particularly these two uh, attributes label and items so there's also value but let's do it only for label uh, and items for this video so i need to provide getters and setters for those So that's all you need to do. Uh, now you have access to those uh, attributes. But this is kind of low level, right? This interface is not a Vadin component that you can add into a layout. Uh, so let's create a, a Vadin component that uses this element. So go ahead and create a class such as combo box component. And I'm going to uh, extend any 
you, you can extend any uh, body component that makes sense. For simplicity, I'm just going to use a CSS layout here. And this is going to encapsulate the uh, combo box uh, element. So let's provide, let's define a, a constructor here that accepts a string with the uh, caption in value in terminology and also it could be a, an array of uh, options. Mm. So first we need to create the, uh, the new instance and remember that we created this uh, uh, create method, well, that's the reason uh, we did it. So we can create a new instance over here and it's going to be registered. Uh, then we can uh, set the, uh, the label, which in, in our case is, is gonna be the caption. And uh, now we need to add the options, right? So this is the only uh, uh, kind of tricky part because uh, if you go to the documentation, you will find that this is defined as a JSON array, and uh, we need to provide that as a string here. So uh, fortunately, there are a set of uh, classes and methods that allows you to do that pretty easily. So you need to create a new instance of this class, the array JSON factory, and there is a create array method. Now, uh, if the options, if there are options, then we need to, uh, basically we need to iterate. Do, do it any way you, you want to. I'm going to do it this way. And now we can set the values of uh, um, each position in the array. Then we can say element element dot set items and we can provide this array uh, in JSON format. Cool. So we have the element ready, but we need to add it into this uh, CSS layout, right? Uh, because this is not, uh, this is not, remember, this is not uh, a valid component. So there is a uh, elements, elements, sorry, it's element integration class that has a method called get root and you can specify like a voting component there. So let's specify this and assign this to any variable. And now we can append a child here. In, uh, in, in this uh, example, it's, uh, well, the element. And, and that should be it. So let's use this component from the UI. So let me remove all this. Uh, let's keep the layout combo box component. Let's call it C. Now I have to specify caption select an option and the options. Option one, option two, option three. Finally, let's add it into some layout. And let's see if this works. Let me move to the root of the project. Maven package, get your run. And if I go to localhost 8080, well, we have a nice, uh, combo box provided by adding elements.